Hey everyone, welcome to this next session on Anubhav Learning Series. Our today's topic in learning series is UI adaptation in SAP Fiori. This feature is available in most of the S4 HANA cloud systems as well as on-premise system. And this feature will be enabled in SAP Fiori Launchpad for the key users. The topic is also called key user extensions and extension capabilities in S4 HANA. So for that, to demonstrate in the system, let me just quickly switch to our system where I have a Fury application called Manage Product. In order to activate the UI adaptation mode, we need to click on the default user and choose option Adapt UI. Once we choose this option, the adaptation mode for the SAP UI Fury application becomes open. In classical application of SAP ERP, we used to do these adaptations using screen exits, menu exits, and function exits. Together with that, we used to do extra bud implementation as well as SM30 customization. The disadvantage of that approach was, at times you do not have the visualization of UI at front of you. But in this approach of adaptation with SAP Fiori, it's pretty easy to make the changes right away on the UI with the key user capabilities. So for example, in my app i don't want to see this particular uh, subcategory of the product or maybe category of the product then i can right click on the element and i can cut that at the same time i can add and remove the blocks i can change the position of the blocks up and down so let me just drag and drop the supplier block on the ball and you see the position of the block has been changed i would also like to add extra fields then i can do that so for example in the general information this particular block, I would like to right click and say add a field. And now I have all the available fields which are currently there in the OData service displayed to me. A very easy option for people who don't have technical knowledge on SAP Fiori to adapt your UI. And let me change here the average rating or add these two more fields. Click on OK. And now you see those two fields are part of my output. I would also want to change some terminologies. I can do that. I can go for change and now change the description with, let's say, product info. Done. At the same time, it makes it pretty easy to hide certain fields. So I can also hide and remove certain fields, which I don't want. I can rename the terminology, for example, to product from product name, product to product name. And once I'm happy with all the changes, I can just save and publish these changes for my end user. You can also add new blocks. So you'd see a technical data block has also been introduced in the data. So once you're happy, you can publish the change and then these changes will be transported to the quality system. I can save and exit and I can now see my app which has adaptation done, supplier data coming at the top, product info, which is the label, product detail got changed to info. We have got two extra fields. At the same time, we have got an extra block added to technical data. So that's it for the adaptation UI feature of S4 HANA Cloud. For more details on S4 HANA Cloud implementation in app extension options, please subscribe to my course on S4 HANA Cloud extension implementation in S4 on SDK on onlinefurytrainings.com. As usual, for watching this video, thank you so much and for giving your time again. And please do subscribe to this channel if you feel these videos are interesting and helpful. Let me know more thoughts about what kind of implementation requirements you would have received as part of S4 HANA implementation in your company. With that, Anubhav signing out. Thank you so much. Subscribe to this channel and goodbye.